So about a year ago, I drove for Uber for about like nine to 10 months, something like that. I was in a place in my life financially where I was like traveling a lot and I couldn't hold down a regular job because I suck at everything. So Uber kind of offered me this opportunity to travel but still be somewhat financially stable. I don't drive for them anymore, but I used to get, you know, tweets all the time asking me for like favorite stories because I would tweet like, oh, this was fucking funny or just shit that pissed me off. And uh, whenever I'd have people riding with me, a lot of the times one of the first questions was like, oh, what are your favorite stories that you have that you've seen? So I thought it'd be fun to tell you guys some of them. Like I said, I don't drive for Uber anymore. Uh, and some of these stories are kind of like, uh. So, Uber, if you're watching, fucking delete my account. I've tried twice, I, you won't get rid of it. So, first story uh, that comes to mind off the top of my head, it's like midsummer weekend, I think it was a Friday or Saturday. I was down in like the kind of like clubs area of my city. It's like two or 3 a.m. I get a request and I pull up outside this bar. Immediately, this older guy, like maybe like 40 or 50, comes out of the club with this girl, just fucking 11 out of 10, God. So already I'm sitting there and th your Uber driver judges you all the time. The second they see you, I know exactly what the fuck is happening. <laughs> like, I'm sitting there looking at him and I'm like, uh-huh, all right, here we go. They get in my car and they're already immediately just fighting, drunk as hell, just yelling at each other. We pull off and I'm like, oh my fucking God. Oh. And we have like a 45 minute drive, so I'm like, this is gonna be sick. Come to find out really quickly, this girl is the girl that this guy is cheating on his wife with. The girl is pissed off at the guy because she can't understand why he won't tell his wife about her. <laughs> the best part is that they're fucking, they're so drunk that the guy literally, she's like, I just want you to, I want to be out there and open with it. And the guy's like, are you fucking, <laughs> he like literally cracked up. He's like, no. No, that's not how this works. So we're driving, it, like I said, it was like a 45 minute drive. I'm like, okay, we're probably going to some motel or some shit. I'm like, wow, you couldn't have picked somewhere closer. They immediately start asking me what I think of the situation. One, they're so fucked up, I'm, I have no idea. I have no idea what they're talking about, but the only thing that I have fully formulated in my head is like, I just met you and I think you're terrible people. There's two things that I don't know and one thing that this guy doesn't know. The first thing that I didn't know is that we weren't going to a motel or this girl's house, we're going to the guy's house where his wife is. The second thing that I didn't know and that this guy didn't know is that his wife is blowing up his phone this whole ride. We're like halfway through the ride, they have since stopped fighting, they're now just making out in the back seat. I'm like, okay, cool, thanks, didn't want my fucking rear view mirror anyway. I don't have an aux cord, I only have a CD player, so I'm like, I hope you like Fall Out Boy's greatest hits from 2009, because that's the only CD I have. We're getting closer and closer, and we're in like a nice neighborhood, like really nice. And, uh, the houses are just huge, so yeah, this guy has money, this is obviously his wife's house, his family house, I'm kind of like figuring that out in my head. I shit you not, this was like a fucking movie. We get up to the driveway of this house. There's like a porch light over the garage. I see like a figure standing against the garage door, <laughs> like straight up. And I pull up in the driveway, my headlights shine on the garage door and it's obviously this dude's wife. She's like standing there with her phone. She sees me, I probably look terrified. She sees the guy in the back seat and then she sees the girl next to him. No emotion on her face. She just puts her head down. You've seen like World War Z, the way the zombies run. She just head down, starts sprinting at the car. And I'm like, oh fuck. She runs right up the car, starts like slamming on my window. I like put it down a tiny bit. I'm like, I'm the Uber driver. I don't know. I have no idea. She comes around the side of the car and rips the back driver door open and just grabs this girl by her hair out of the car. Wastes no time. Just starts wailing on her. Just blind rage. The husband gets out and he's so fucked up. He's screaming at her. He's like, You're after, this is another one of your episodes. Like all this shit. I'm sitting there and I'm like, I am not ending this ride. This meter is running and this might as well happen and I'm gonna get paid for every second. The husband's yelling, just screaming. He's not trying to break it up. He's so fucked up that he's trying to like rationalize his cheating and also like get them to stop but also like make his wife feel bad that she caught him cheating. Eventually, he just fucking gives up. He goes inside. He's like, fuck it, don't care. And I, I'm just sitting there and I'm like, I have to do something. I get out and I'm like, ma'am, 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 please. Like, we, I really, we can't do this. You need to stop right now. She fucking shoves me. I hit the hood of my car and I'm like, fuck. 
Turn face, I'm like, ma'am, I'm gonna call the police if you don't stop right now, they're not listening. Turn my back and I'm like leading the girl who's just sobbing and bloody back to the door of the car. The wife is just beating the fuck out of my back. I open the door, I throw the girl in, I get the fucking driver's seat, throw it in reverse. The wife like kind of chases towards me but then stops, I just, back the fuck out, we're speeding away. This girl is like hanging on the back of the driver's seat, crying, just nothing is making sense of what she's saying. What do I do? I'm, I'm yelling at her, because at this point, I'm pissed off. Like, I'm like, this is, this is fucked up. Everyone is in the wrong here. What's your fucking address? I'm taking you home. You need to think about this shit. Don't ever make this choice again. She's like, oh, no, I will, yeah. And I like drop her off and I'm like, you know what? I'm really sorry this happened to you. I wish your night turned out differently. Just like, don't fucking do this again. I walked her through her door. She was fine, I think. Moral of the story, totally got her number. And she never hit me back. So, hope you're doing good, Lisa. Best part is that I didn't fucking ever end the ride, and it was a surge ride, so that fucking asshole paid for the whole thing, dropped the girl off, drove to the bar, met up with friends. Thanks for paying for my drinks. Jared, you're a cheating asshole. So this next story, before I tell it to you, you kind of have to understand something about Uber. As an Uber driver, you're like the fly on the wall, the fucking verbal punching bag, mobile therapist of so many people that get in your car. What's kind of messed up sometimes is that you know, you're only with these people for a short amount of time, obviously. They trust you because you're driving them, I guess. And a lot of the times you'll hear stories or like people confide in you about things out of context or like without any resolution, like you don't know what happened. And sometimes that really messes with, with me at least, I'm sure other people. There'll be times in the morning where like, I'll fucking like sit downstairs, make a bowl of cereal and I'll be staring out the window like, fuck, I hope Timmy's grandma's okay. Don't know what happened there, I'll never know. It's kind of fucked up. This particular ride and story are one that I still think about a lot. Like, I I just, I wish I knew what, how it ended up. I don't know what day of the week it was. It was nighttime, probably like 10, 11 o'clock at night. I'm kind of out, not in the middle of nowhere, but kind of like suburbia. I get this request to the town I'm in at the time's police station. I'm like, oh, this might be weird. I pull up and this girl gets in, very like, you know, probably my age-ish, super normal looking, and but she's like crying. She's like hysterically crying. She gets in and, and we only have like a three minute ride to wherever she's going, some neighborhood right nearby. I'm like, what? what's wrong? Like, what happened? Are you okay? You're at the police station. She's like, no, I'm fine. I just, I had to fill out a police report because my grandpa just destroyed my car. And I'm like, oh, fuck. Like, is he okay? Did he crash? What happened? She's like, no, he's fine. He, he just, he, he's blind and, but he still thinks he can drive. So he took my car to like the gas station to buy cigarettes. It's been two seconds that she's talking and I'm already like, and he drives to, he's blind? He, he was kind of drunk, drunk and blind, lit his cigarette while he was driving home, pulled up in the driveway and I guess he like, cause he's blind, he dropped his cigarette, didn't think anything about it. Walked inside and basically my car uh, burned down. Sure enough. We pull around the bend of this neighborhood that we entered and there's fucking all these sirens, there's fire trucks, police cars, a fucking ambulance. We pull up to her house and her there's like a fucking 1999 Ford Taurus in the driveway just smoking, blackened, fucking burnt. Her parents or someone were out front talking to the police. Saying, I don't know why she took an Uber to the police station, I have no idea, but She's just like, all right, thanks. Gets out and like starts walking towards her fucking family and the cops. And I just start pulling away and I'm like, what the fuck? I don't know. That's just one of those stories. No con, no resolution, no context other than what I saw. And that fucks me up to this day. Is blind drunk grandpa still driving? Hopefully not. So this last story is Pretty fucked up. Probably one of the few times I've ever actually like felt scared for my life. And you know, when you're driving Uber, never once in the amount of rides that I gave did I ever feel like my safety was being threatened or that I was gonna die. Usually, you know, it's always just, you know, just people that are either just fucked up and that's annoying, but it's fine. I'd never had anything happen where I was like, wow, fuck. So to give you some context, I carry a taser. You guys are like, oh, I know where this is going, but it, it's one of those things like better to have it, not need it, than need it, not have it. And I, I will never forget this for the rest of my life. First week of September, Friday night,
you feel like you're in a Barbie car. But he somehow knew that that's how you shift in a Prius, which, awesome that he knew that, that he was that fucked up. He grabs the paddle and he throws it into drive. I have to slam on my fucking brakes to not hit the car in front of me, put it back in park, and I'm like, sir, this is the last time I'm gonna ask you, I'm warning you right now, get out of my car, right now. I'm like feeling ballsy, this dude is huge, could literally kill me if he wanted to. My, my arm is like reaching down to the door well where the taser is, and I'm like, fuck yeah, motherfucker, come on. Never looked up how to use it, but was feeling super good about it. He just doesn't say anything, just, grabs me by my throat. This was such a short amount of time that this all happened in, that like, you know, if he would have drunk strength combined with his actual strength, choked me, I would have been out in a second and probably dead. He grabs me by the throat and my vision just goes red. I'm like, fuck no, I'm not dying. If anyone's dying, it's fucking you, which sounds so bad, but I'm blind rage. I throw my elbow, kind of get him to square his shoulders toward me. At the same time, I grab this taser, never having used it. Didn't know if he needed to, or I don't know. I just go for it. I fucking get him right in the pecs. I hold that shit for fucking maybe 30 seconds. I don't know. He's out. He goes out. Tongue out of his mouth, eyes in the back of his head. He pisses himself. When I went to get him, I kind of like got my own fucking arm for a second. So my arm is like shaking like fucking noodle. It smells like burning something. I don't know. I'm just sitting there shaking like Saving Private Ryan, just <coughs> slow-mo, just like <coughs> Right at that time, David, my actual fucking ride, who's also very drunk, opens the back passenger door and he hops in, he's like, what's going on? What the fuck? And I'm still just shaking slow-mo and I'm like, it's okay, we'll figure this out. There's like bar staff outside like helping people out and like sweeping cigarettes up and shit. And I just roll my window down and I'm like, get this guy the fuck out of my car. Shit you not, it took three dudes, three guys to pull this giant, drunk, pissed on man out of my fucking car. He's just uh, dragged him around the front of my car. They like sit him down against like a beam on the front patio of this, of this club. I have no idea what to do. I have no idea what to do. I start to like pull away, just still like slow-mo and shaking and my window's down and all the bar staff outside are like, hey, 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 and I, I stop and they're like, do we need to call the cops? My only thought was just get out of here, go away, leave. So I, I don't think, and I'm just like, probably and just keep going. <laughs> I literally just dipped. I didn't know what to do. And we're driving to David's house and you know, I explained the situation to him and he's like, yeah, fuck that guy. Like that dude was being an asshole in the club. Like he deserved it. Good on you, man. You fucking took him out. And I'm like feeling all hyped. Like, yeah, yeah, fuck him. But inside I'm like, I'm going to jail. So I drop David off fucking, I'm like, good night. Whip it around the corner, throw it in park, frantically Googling like how long hold taser kill someone. Probably got on a list somewhere for that. Basically they're like, oh, if he had a pacemaker, he might be dead, but otherwise he's fine. I'm like, Jesus Christ. Went back to that club a couple weeks later, saw one of the guys that helped pull him out, and I was like, do you know what happened with Michael? He's like, yeah, he went to jail. We called the fucking cops. It was like, tight, fuck yeah, I fucking did it. So I hope I didn't just incriminate myself. It's been a year. Michael, if you're watching, please don't come kill my family, I'm sorry. But you were a dick. And uh, yeah, that's that story. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. That's the end of the entertaining part of this video, I guess, I hope you liked it. The rest of this is just gonna be uh, me talking about the future of this channel, because I've been gone for a while. So please, if you dug this, I'm really trying to get back into YouTube. Please subscribe, please hit like. Please leave a comment. I'm bad at this. I just want to tell you guys stories and entertain you, maybe make you laugh. So, thanks. Anyway, um, I know I've been on YouTube for a long time. Used to really love doing it. Over the years, kind of lost my love to make videos just because of the shit that was on YouTube. And like, that's such a fucking, I kind of realized that. That's such a fucking pussy thing to think. Like, oh, Oh, I'm better than all this shitty content, like, whatever. I just want to do it. I, I've been feeling, like, creatively stunted a little bit. I can't promise how regular this will be. I just kind of want to be able to put something out into the world right now that I think is good. I hope you think it's good. I know I took all my old videos down. I know that that's going to piss a lot of people off. I was just way younger back then. It's all so cringy. I know a lot of you love that, those videos, and, and that, you know, you have a lot of memories and stuff with those videos and, and you know, that those videos changed my life. I have a lot of views and I say a lot of things in those videos that are not me now, you know, fucking six, seven years later. And I really don't want people to think that I think that way anymore. So they're not deleted, 
Um, I've just made them private. I'm gonna figure out what to do with them because I know some people are still gonna want to watch them. I'll let you know on that. I'm not. I'm not sure. So let me know what you think I should do. I guess I'm gonna try to make this regular. I'm gonna try to vlog. I'm gonna try to. I just want to make creative shit. Creative to me. I just want to put shit out in the world. Yeah, I'm in a weird time in my life right now. I feel really old. Um, I dyed my hair blonde because I want to be 18 again. <laughs> so yeah, I, I hope uh, you guys stick with me on this. I'm gonna try to not let you down. I know I've said that a million times, but I, I really, uh, I, I feel something right now in my life where I, I want to make a lot of videos. I want to do a lot of cool shit and all sorts of things. And, and you know, I, I'm still in the band. The band's going great. The band's called Point North. Check it out, link in the description. We're doing stuff, that's great, but th this, is, this is another side of me just wanting to be able to talk and vent and and just do something that's like that I could put my identity into in another way that's not music. So I don't know if all that sounds convoluted. <laughs> Whatever, I'll figure it out. I've been watching a lot of YouTube now, which I haven't done before. I used to only watch like gaming YouTube um, in the last couple years, and I've just kind of been like embedding myself back into it. And you know, I'll figure out how to edit again. I'll try to get these to you quicker. I really love doing this. I'm gonna try to up the production value. I have an old, old camera, so sorry. I, I feel really good about this. I love you guys a lot. I, I can't thank you. I can't believe that this shit is, you're still here, that you're still watching. That means a lot. It, it does. So, uh, please subscribe. Please don't unsubscribe if you're pissed at me. Give me a chance. I promise I'll get funnier or do better. And those old videos aren't going anywhere. You just can't watch them right now. So we'll figure that out. Please subscribe, like. I, I love you guys to death on my fucking Twitter and Instagram, Snapchat, all that shit are down below. You see them at the end of the video too. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Uh, it, let me know what you want to see. So, peace.